Time for another demo here on Daily Planet, and with me is David Willey. I always love it when you come here because I feel like, I don't know, like there are sparks between us. There is Dan, and we're going to make some sparks. We're going to use a flint from a lighter. I've actually taken one out here and wrapped it in the spring from the lighter. Now that's the thing that makes a lighter make these sparks, yeah, that's right? What it's, makes the it's sparks. not the gas, it's just yeah. the sparky part. And it's not really a flint, it's, it's mostly iron, and it's a material that if you heat it, tiny, tiny particles of it will burn at less than 50 degrees centigrade. Hmm. So that's the action of scraping it on the lighter. Just making it a small piece Just is what it makes it catch fire. Tiny little pieces, yeah. And then the little bit of heat that's generated is enough to set those huh. pieces on fire. Okay, show so me. Let me show you. If I just heat up this flint here, you can see the, the wire gets hot first. But this is ferroserum. And once it gets red hot. That's red hot, but it's not it's hot. not really burning because it's too big. No, but if you see now, watch what happens. Whoa! Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah. I only have one way that it could be just a bit better would be if it were somehow bigger. Bigger? Just so happens that right here, I have two dozen lighter flints. Oh, yeah. This time wrapped in tungsten wire so it won't melt through. What I want you to do is take this. I'm going to get this lot red hot. And when I tell you, hit that hard as you can. This is your flicking finger, is this? This is the equivalent of the flicking finger. All right. All okay. Right. So I'm going to heat this up, and when it's nice and red hot, I want you to hit it. Well, oh, like oh, yeah, a little wind helping that heat little up. little wind. I think I'm going to move to a brighter torch here just for the last little bit of heating. You ready? Ready! Okay, one, two, hit it. Yes! <laughs> oh, that was great, Dan. David, I always enjoy it. Thanks very much. Thank you. Whew.